But I brought mine. Whoa. Hello there. Good morning. And good morning to you. Uh, I was talking to them. Oh, my bad. Or Hello? good evening, depending on whenever you're watching this. That is true. But I'm Nick. And I'm Kelly. And you're watching the Quirky <laughs> Coaster Couple. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. Today we are coming from SeaWorld San Antonio. Why are we here uh, when, the, when it's closed, Kelly? because we're here for a media event to learn about what's coming next year for 2023. It's a bright announcement, so let's go get set up and you're coming with us. Let's go. Good morning. Welcome to the start of a new adventure. Awesome. Good morning. Hi. Did anyone else wake up this morning and it felt like fall? Yes. yes. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Chuck. I'm from the marketing department. We're excited because today we're going to tell you the next big thing that's coming to SeaWorld. But first, I want to say some thank yous. Thank you to the member, uh, members of our traditional media who are out here. We certainly appreciate your support throughout the entire year. Thank you so much for coming out. We appreciate the members of the influencer community, uh, theme park and enthusiasts and bloggers. Thank you for coming out. We really appreciate your support. Um, and we also want to say thank you to the folks joining us virtually through uh, Facebook Live. So hello to you. Thank you. Please like and hello. share this. The folks who make it possible for the new attraction that you're going to learn about in just a few minutes, they all come together. It takes a village. And that is the ambassadors, the employees that work here at SeaWorld. Every department is coming together to create this. Uh, and I'm going to list them off here. Culinary department, administration, aquatica, design and engineering, security, entertainment, zoological department, discovery point, operations, finance, merchandise, landscaping, human resources, IT, wardrobe, general services. It takes a village. All of these people are what makes SeaWorld great. Give yourselves a round of applause. Right. All right, since opening in 1988, SeaWorld has been a place of wonder and amazement. It's been a place for family and friends to come and marvel at the good things in life. One thing that SeaWorld does is give people a place to get out of their houses and go on an adventure. First and foremost, SeaWorld is a place where people can venture out and see animals. We educate people about some amazing creatures. We're an organization that cares for animals both here in our park but also in the natural environment. We learn about them, we research them, and we take that information and we give it back to our guests. Our zoological staff goes out on adventures all the time as they come to the aid of animals in need and they rescue them. And people come to SeaWorld to take an adventure, so to speak, into the animal kingdom. We give people a place to go and marvel at amazing animals that we share this earth with. SeaWorld is also a place for people to venture out and have some amazing cultural experiences. For example, we take people on a virtual adventure to the corners of the earth to sample delicious cuisine during our Seven Seas Food Festival. Our guests venture into Germany for a beer fest event. And we all like that one, right? <laughs> and at Christmas time, guests, particularly families, venture throughout a lighted Christmas wonderland. And for those who like to venture into the supernatural world of scares and spookiness, they can enjoy Howl a Scream, which is happening right now on week in weekends through the end of October. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, for the adventurous folks who love the thrill of adrenaline, SeaWorld has something for them, and that is amazing, thrilling, world-class rides. SeaWorld San Antonio paved the way and was the very first of the SeaWorld parks to have an adventure, or adventure ride. That's right, back in 1997, we opened the Great White, and since then, the thrill rides have kept on coming. We have the Great White, we have Steel Heel, Journey to Atlantis, Tidal Surge, Wave Breakers, Texas Stingray. If you want thrilling adventures, this is the place to come. 
And that, my friends, brings us to where we are today. What thrilling adventure will this magnificent park take guests on next? What new experiences will park goers be able to enjoy again and again? What is the next big thing at SeaWorld that everybody's gonna be talking about after this moment? Listen, do you hear that? That's the sound of adventure. coaster. It will be North America's only vertical lift flume coaster, and it will be the world's steepest flume coaster. Coming in 2023, the SeaWorld San Antonio Catapult Falls. <laughs> we are very excited about this. Let me take you some of those statistics. It's the world's first launched flume coaster, launching uh, riders at 32 feet per second. SeaWorld San Antonio will have North America's only vertical lift flume coaster with an elevator that takes guests above the park so they can marvel at the beauty of the park and no doubt San Antonio before they come to a speedy plunge into the water below. It'll be the world's steepest flume coaster with a 53 degree angle and an over 55 foot drop. That's right. Family and friends will have something new to experience at SeaWorld. We guarantee that it will be the adventure that you've been waiting for. Once again, coming to SeaWorld San Antonio in 2023, Catapult Falls. All right, friends, we have a little bit more for you here today. We're gonna to invite the members of the media to come out for what we call a hard hat tour. We're gonna to actually take you to the site of the, constru the construction site. We're gonna point out some of the, the, the landmarks that you've seen in this video here. Um, uh, much thanks to, once again, um, uh, all of our ambassadors who came out today and all the ambassadors who are gonna to work together over the next few months to bring San Antonio Catapult Falls, Falls that is. Um, much thanks to our marketing graphics and sign shop for our amazing graphics and the signs that you see behind you. Behind you, we've got some, uh, some of the graphics that depict what the ride looks like, uh, as well as what we call an infograph there with some of the statistics. Um, again, we're gonna take members of the media on a special hard hat tour. We'll guide you through uh, so you can actually envision where everything's gonna go. Uh, and we thank you once again for joining us today as we debut and announce Catapult Falls. Have a great day. So we got both Instagram and Facebook going by. Uh, we just got we just got word that SeaWorld San Antonio will be getting a the world's first launched plume coaster. What are your thoughts on that, Kelly? I'm I'm in tears right now, literally. I'm like crying. You can't stick around too long. We got to kind of wrap up. If we're uh, going to be going to check out a construction tour, we're gonna I don't know if we can go live on that, but we're gonna see what we can do and. Thanks for joining us. You'll be coming along with us regardless. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we will see you at the park.
Hey guys, it's Ray Gonzalez here at SeaWorld San Antonio. I'm so happy uh, to be able to share with you our brand new attraction that'll be coming in 2023. That is Catapult Falls. It'll be the world's first launch flume coaster, uh, North America's only vertical lift flume coaster, and the world's steepest flume coaster. So that drop will take you at about 53 degrees down. Uh, we'll lift you up 55 feet, drop you down 55 feet into a little splash area. You'll hit another camel hump before you come down into the big splash area. You can kind of see here is our trough area. This will actually be where the boat will come down. Uh, we are actually standing in the splash down, uh, splash down area uh, so people that are not on the right can kind of hang out here and get soaked as that boat comes down. Uh, the launch is right behind us back over that way. We're working on that right now and that will actually launch at about 30 feet a second. All right, we're gonna have to make this quick because we only got 14% left on this battery. Are you on the right side? left on this battery and go what oh <laughs> And there you have it. There you have it, people. That was the SeaWorld 2023 new ride announcement. Oh my gosh, what do you all think? Oh. What is it, Catapult Falls? It catapult Falls, I mean, literally it's gonna have a tower lift hill, steepest log bloom drop in the world. First launch log bloom in the world. This is a lot of firsts. We're lucky, because it's right here at our home park, oh, SeaWorld San Antonio. We Oh. Yes, so now, from what we understand, there's going to be a little quick refresh spot. There's going to be a splash down zone that people can just pop in and get wet. That's going to be awesome on those oh, hot my gosh. Texas yes. summer days. So if you haven't made your plans next summer in 2023, come to San Antonio. Sea World San Antonio to be specific. And you never know, you may see us here at the park. We're definitely going to come check it out as soon as we can. Thanks again for coming along with us and we will see you at, at the, the parks. parks. Later!